Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for you guessed it. Well, it actually, you shouldn't have to guess it, it's theoretically in the ch it's in the freaking uh, title. Uh, this is an update. So, uh, this will be like my fifth attempt at doing this. I had a Hoi 4 one that I was kind of okay with, but in the end I kind of said, no, because I, I, I was going off on tangents and stuff. Pretty normal for me, actually. Um, yeah, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to get this channel update out to you guys. Main reason being, I don't have any content, so I can't post anything for a while. Um, reason number one, I'm actually going to be going out of town on vacation here shortly. Um, I think today is going to be, today's Tuesday. You guys are going to be getting the Spain finale uh, for Vicky 2, the Napoleonic one. Um, that series, I think I did alright in it. I wish we could have got a little bit more. I probably should have did like an endgame war with France to see how it would go. But in the end, I kind of just said, uh, I don't feel like dealing with it. I did that with Westphalia. I didn't feel like doing it against France again. But, um, yeah, that's just something I was dealing with. Um, but as I said, I am going to be going out of town. I know, shocker, get taken aback by it. Demon's going on break. Um, I haven't had, I did not go on vacation during the summer, it was pretty much work, 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 work. Um, when I did get a couple vacations, I kind of just sat around and relaxed. So I didn't really do as much as I would have liked. Um, had plan. I was thinking about like going to see a couple things, but in the end I was just like, I really don't feel like leaving my house to go deal with any of this. <laughs> so, so calm down, calm down, Demon will be back, Demon will come back, it's just a matter of time. Um, Mainly what I would like to do is, if humanly possible, what, my objectives are a couple of them. Objective number one, I would really, really like to get two series done, which would be equivalent to about four, be about a month worth of content almost. Very least, three weeks worth of content. Um, that, and it's just my personal opinion, I want to have that in stock in case I don't have time to record so um, yeah as I said I'm gonna be leaving here on Thursday the 6th and then I will be coming back on the following Tuesday so during that time I won't have any content so I was just like well there's nothing I can do about it I could theoretically record and try to get some stuff done but then I got into this state of ah oh, crap I had to do all this Final Fantasy weekly stuff and I was like well the weekly stuff matters to me a bit more personally than the channel getting a video. I, I'm sorry if some people don't like that, but I play this game a lot on the regular, and if I fall behind on it, then it makes me feel like I'm not doing as well as I could. I kind of had the same issue on the last patch. I think I missed one or two because I needed to get... I was missing a couple things, so it kind of sucked. Uh, not in terms of like story or anything, but in terms of equipment. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. Um, it's like today I'm going to be farming these tombstones out. I have zero right now because the week resets on every Tuesday. So I have today off. Tomorrow I work. And then I'm probably going to be busy when I get home. And then I have something to do at 5. So I won't. And I'll be gone for probably 3 hours. So I won't have any time. So it's just I'd rather get focused on this. So I have it set for when the next patch and release stuff comes out. Um, but again, don't take it as demons uh, Demons leaving. No, demon will be back. So don't worry about demon not leaving. So don't. I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, and the other thing is, I don't know exactly what I want to do in terms of recordings. I feel like I want to do another Vicky 2 um, one because uh, it'll, it'll give me some time off from it. So that drive to go back and play is going to be there. Um, but the other thing is, and it's a bit of an issue as well as I was thinking more about it, is I actually have to finish um, Mass Effect 2. Um, so I might prioritize Mass Effect 2. Well, actually, I might... It depends. I might try to do an a intermingling of the two. I'd like to play Mass Effect 2 and to get more of it done, but I also like to play Vicky 2 some more and see what the updates for Napoleon's Legacy has. Because I actually haven't downloaded an update for a while. I think I'm on... I think I'm two or three patches behind the most current one, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. So it's like two or three patches. Um, so I'm kind of curious on what they have updated, and I'd like to go see it. Um, but as I said, it, me, me falling behind on recordings is... I guess it does feel new to me, 
sort of in a way because I've never actually had I used to never have this issue when I first started the channel it just started happening in the last couple of years I think it's just I don't think it's because I don't want to record it's just I want to record where I feel the most comfortable and when I feel like I'm in a good mood to record versus when I feel like it's becoming a hassle because that's what was happening sort of like this game I actually don't have that feeling that much like when I play the story for this I want to keep playing because I want to see what goes on but when I play something like Vicky 2 when you do it so many times like it's like most games you've done it before so it gets old after a while the mod definitely has um, elevated Vicky 2 up to me because I'm having more fun playing in an environment that is high risk <laughs> because of the situations you're put in so it's a lot of fun to play in that aspect like Vanilla Vicky 2, once you form North Germans and you get it and you can form Germany, the game's done. Like, you pretty much play any way you want, like, after, like, 1900. Once 1900 or, like, 1880s hit, you're playing Germany the rest of the game. You, you will curve stomp everything. You might not be able to kill the British fleet, but my god, you'll kill France, you'll kill Poland. Well, actually, if Poland exists, you kill Russia, you're gonna kill freaking Italy, you're gonna kill Austria. You kill everything if you wanted to at that point. You deal a lot of wars, but nonetheless, you'll still get what you want. Um, and versus the new Poland's legacy, which is France is at peace, you have to kind of build around not pissing France off that much, which is fun to deal with. Um, Hoi 4 also had its most recent patch, Blood Alone. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have tried to come up with strategies to work. I do like the new plane um, blueprint, whatever the hell you want to call it. I know there's a technical term, and I'm, and I'm kind of retarded, so I'm not going to come up with that term that easily. I, I don't pay attention, but I do like the aspects of planes now, because I like trying to build around that concept. Um, and I've tried to create planes, to me, that make sense because of the way they're constructed. So I have come up with like fun plane building strategies. I don't know if they're any good or not, but... It's how I always viewed planes whenever I like would see stuff progress through the war, which is U.S. planes, pretty much after P-40 Warhawk, all have 50 cows and they have six of them. That's American planes in a nutshell. Then you get into German planes, which had the cannons, light machine guns, and the heavier machine guns. So I like to build them sort of around that philosophy. I do it with the American planes too now. I actually might give them like a single cannon just to give them a little bit more air attack to get that oomph. But... It's really fun and I like it, and it, it's it's been a bit of a challenge, but I'm learning it more and more. But the one thing that it actually kind of taught me is that I build expensive planes, so I have to increase production on plane output. But it has also resulted in the fact that I may not be able to build tank divisions like I used to. So when you play it, I'm probably building a ton more infantry, and even though you're not supposed to anymore, it theoretically still works. You just build 40 whiffs, you put a light tank with a high velocity gun in it, you will literally curb stomp the AI into existence because they can't do anything against these tanks. All I do is give them the high velocity gun and then put the piercing and then you let it run. It pretty much kills a lot. To me, it seems like it kills a lot and you add the planes into it, it adds the extra support. So light tanks are worthless. It probably will pierce the mediums depending on the tank build. Heavies it probably will have a tough time with, but if you have really good CAS, there's no point in playing it, so it's just so hilarious to deal with. So it's just, that's all I've been doing. Like, and, and then I like come up with like plane engines and crap. Like, my American bombers are good, and I love them. But I also love my fighters, and I've also started coming up with interceptor models as well, which have been a lot of fun, which I was thinking, should I build it on a small airframe or a medium airframe? And I said, screw it, I'm gonna do mediums, and I'm going to build the medium like I know the Brit, not the British, but the Germans built it, which is a turret. So you get a couple light machine guns added to it, just to give it a little bit of extra defense while it's flying around. That way, if it deals with a fighter plane that it can't outmaneuver, it can shoot at it with a machine gun. So I, I, I've been getting really creative with it and trying to come up with like new ideas. It's been a bit of a pain, but it's been fun too. I love coming up with plane strats. The only thing I'm not a big fan of... Are the naval bombers, I guess? <laughs> naval bombers just are... Bleh. I don't like them that much. 
Like, I guess in terms of production, I guess you would want cheap but good planes. So like in multiplayer, it makes sense to come up with a good strategy, but when you're playing in, in single player against the AI, even if it's an expensive plane, you're still gonna mass produce into it. It's not that hard. Um, I also, oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention, I would love to have recorded it um, at the time, but actually I was recording it, so I was trying to do an update. Um, I'm actually gonna try to do the stuff whenever the 1960s mod finishes because I think it has a problem of crashing right now. I know, shocker, somehow a Steam Workshop mod crashes, but I think it actually can cause my game to crash, and I don't know, and I did it once, but I didn't go back to retry it. Because with the way the planes are set up now, they tried to up, they had an update for the planes, but it gives you a lot of the old plane models that were part of vanilla. And I'm wondering if they're having a conflict between the mods resources and that. Um, because I, I actually noticed it even with ships. Like if you have all the vanilla ships, like let's say you're the US, let's say you have the Saratoga and Lexington. If you try to build a converted aircraft carrier hull, you actually don't get the carrier hull in it anymore. Or you can't you couldn't you couldn't update the ship that was built then or that's already exists, so you had to build a brand new one, so it was a waste of time. So I, I'm wondering if there's something going on in terms of making it crash because there's a conflict of interest between vanilla and the mod. Chances are it's probably nothing, but yeah, you never know with these games. Um, as I said before, there's that. Um, so eventually I'd like to go back in and try playing it. Um, I think if I do do it, I'll probably play Italy, and I I think I'm going to go... I, I want to try the... Um, the kingdom of Italy, so just to be different, because if everybody's doing Pope or letting Mussolini stay in charge or putting a fascist guy in charge, I'm gonna go for the king. I want him to go crazy. It's gonna be fun. Um, anything else I want to discuss in that matter? I don't really think there is. But as I said, um, eventually I'd like to go back to Hawaii and try playing it. Vicky two. If I do the up, when I when I update it when I get back, I'm planning on. Some people said they want to see Russia. Some people, I had somebody a while back, I forget, on the last series perhaps, said, why don't you try playing France? I said France because they're OP, I don't really want to play as the OP country already because I'll just go through and kill everything. So I'm just going to go after Britain and kill them. Because that's who you're going to go after first. Why are you going to go after, you have no point in going after the Benelux, you already own most of it. No point in going after Spain, there's nothing there down there you want. Italy is probably a go-to fight. Perhaps Westphalia, but it's just like you're already allies with them, so you're not going to go to war with them. So your focus is going to primarily be against Britain or going after uh, uncivilized tribes. So you're basically going to go after those two targets. What do you want me to do? That'd be boring as hell. Um, not really. It wouldn't. I t take it back. It really wouldn't be boring. It's just, I've already did that as Britain, and I didn't feel like doing it as France, because it's just a reverse. Um, Russia's po is a, probably a higher possibility, to be honest. So I, I actually might do, um, I might do Russia. Try them again. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. So yeah, I'd expect that. Mass Effect 2, I want to finish it. So I probably will end up doing that as well. Um, I think I should be over the 10 minute marker at this point. But um, yeah, primarily I want to do the update just because of those things. Um... And to finish out on, um, I know we hit three, I know we're over 310 subscribers. I think we're around 315, 316 right now. Um, I'm real thankful for Vicky2 into that aspect because it's gotten a lot more people to come and watch me on my channel. And it's been awesome. So all you guys, all you new guys, thank you. It's great. I love having, uh, I like finally having new groups of people to sit there and watch my videos because I usually never, I didn't have too many before. It kind of sucked. Kind of, it was a, I had like, and I think the dry spell was primarily because I was doing a lot of FF stuff. I know this game, unless you're playing it, you have no interest in it. And I understand why most people probably don't like this game. Because the combat, the gameplay, everybody's like been picking up the fast paced stuff, but I've been playing it for story. Gameplay's not bad. I'm not saying it's terrible. But if you're, if you want to play something more fast paced you're gonna go play that versus this this is you're spending it you're spending like the whole you don't have to play this game they the developers even encourage you to take breaks i play it because i have fun but once you do your weekly stuff and everything's set in stone 
if you have nothing going on, you're kind of bored, so that kind of is why you're going to go play something else. But, again, I'm playing it just because I, I, I like playing it. But, um, I think if there's anything else I really want to discuss in that matter. Don't think so. So I think we're good. Um, as I said, um, with the scribers and everything, thanks for, uh, for joining. Uh, you guys have been fun to talk to in the comment sections. You guys ask questions. Um, although I will say... <sighs> The one thing that I'm very confused by, and I assume you guys, pr if whoever watches this will notice it if you make it this far. If you're somebody asking me what mod I'm playing, please read the title. For the love of God, please read the title of Vicky 2 stuff. It tells you in the title. <laughs> it honest to God tells you in the title. <laughs> Just read the damn title, please. Because <laughs> I answered it one time without thinking, and I was just like, and then there was another time somebody asked, and some and some random person in the comments answered, replied for me, and basically says it's in the damn title. And as soon as they said that, I started laughing because it was the funniest thing I'd seen for a while. I was like, good, I got a smart ass. I was like, thank God, finally my comments got a com I got somebody in my comment section that could be a smart ass for me. <laughs> that made me that made me happier than anything. Um. But yeah, I know like some people like try to get like, uh, and I will say this when it comes to VTube, you can t you can give me recommendations. The only problem is is that most of the time I've already probably finished the series already. So if you're telling me how to play or how to like do stuff, I probably can't do it. <laughs> so I, I would I would say your recommendations for how I can play are welcomed. But just know that chances are I probably won't follow it because I probably already did it or I don't care enough to have done it so I didn't do it in the series so I just ignored it and did something else. Not saying I don't welcome it, but just know that that's probably what's going on. Um, trying to think if there's anything else in that front. Um, not really, but as I said, it, hitting 300 plus is fun. The next goal is 500. Um... I know with Vicky 3 coming out, I think, is it this month or next month? I actually can't remember. I'd have to go back to Steam and look at the wish list for it. I thought it was next month in November, but I could be wrong. But, um, I know I always, I actually said it in an update video a while back that I wanted to play Crusader Kings, but I'm not good with games like that when I started playing it. Like, I can probably play it if I had the time to want to invest to learn the game. The problem is, is that between playing this all the time and playing like Vicky 2 or Chillaxin' with Hoy, I don't have time to learn and I don't feel like learning so I'm probably just going to throw that on a huge back burner that is not going to exist forever. Um, but Vicky 3 I definitely do want to learn so I definitely will be playing the hell out of it um, when it finally releases. I'm, I'm I want to learn how to play that because I don't want it because it's like when I played Imperator Rome when it came out I played it I started to learn it and then I quit for a while because I was like eh, I think it needs some updates before it can really be flushed out and be good and then Paradox just threw it to the back burner and said they're abandoning it so it kind of sucked. Vicky 3 I don't think will have the luxury of being able to be put on a back burner because of the luxury of Vicky 2. Vicky 2 as it is now is a well-loved game. So a lot of people want to play it and have fun with it. Now if the multiplayer was more stable, oh my god, the game would be everybody would be playing it still because it's so much fun. Especially with the mods and stuff you get with it. Bruh. It just sucks that it's the multiplayer is pretty unstable. Otherwise it'd be a great game to play. But um trying to think if there's anything else I want to discuss in that matter. I don't really think there is. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, it, it's it's fun doing the recordings. I will be happy to come back. Um, as I said, I'm just going to be on vacation, chillax for a bit. Um, I actually probably made this probably 20 minutes versus 10 I originally wanted, but just, just discussing stuff it kind of gets into this matter where it takes a while, whether I want to hold myself to the update or not. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for the subscriber count, everybody. Thank you for all of you who have subscribed. Um, thank you for your comments. Um, again, 
As I said, I won't be near my computer, so even though I have my phone on me, I don't really mess with my phone for the channel that much. So, if you leave comments, you say anything in the comment section, when I come back on Tuesday, I will try to comment if I see anything. Um, it'll probably be a list of things I'm going to get updated with, so it should be fun to come back on Tuesday with. Um, otherwise, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, everybody? Well, I don't know if I'll do an update. I just hope it ain't raining when I do it next time, so um, I'll see you guys all then. Thanks.